One of the things in a radar image that influences the backscatter is the incidence angle. So the incidence angle is the angle that the radar beam makes with the normal to your reference surface, so the vertical. That means the difference between the near side of the swath and the far side of the swath, the incidence angle, might vary by a considerable number of degrees. Because the nature of the surface, the scattering is actually dependent on the incidence angle that you're viewing it at. It means that the backscatter can vary across the swath, not because anything physically has changed across the swath on the Earth's surface, but just because of the viewing angle. This is quite important in terms of trying to characterize the backscatter to high accuracy if you're trying to derive something like uh, forests above ground biomass or soil moisture, where you want to know the value of the backscatter to a high degree of accuracy. The other thing that will vary across the swath is the size of your pixel. So the size of the pixel that you're measuring may be slightly different at the near side of the swath to the far side of the swath. This is partly due to the incidence angle variation and the mapping of the range bin onto the ground surface. You can see in this example how at the near side of the swath the signal is much brighter than at the far side of the swath. This is due entirely to the variation in the incidence angle from the near to the far side of the swath. 